there's no one approach to the PCB PCBE model. Um, we really feel in my building that the best approach or the approach that we really want to go towards is really amplifying our instruction, our classroom instruction with technology. So we really use um, Schoology in our building and we're really pushing towards that piece. And when this video is going to talk a little bit about why we kind of do that, um, it's going to be kind of brief but it should give you an idea as to the benefits of using a digital approach um, versus trying to manage it in a different way. So let's go ahead and explore this. So in this video we're going to be talking about how it helps you as a professional um, because there are some benefits even as a professional to utilizing a digit to, to to doing all this work digitally and how it actually benefits the students. So let's go ahead and get started on those. Alright so first of all the way that it benefits you as a professional is one of them is you're able to share all of your content very very quickly very very easily there are different ways of doing this uh, people are managing it lots of different ways and there's no one way that works you really want to think about you know wh where are you trying to go what are you trying to develop inside of your your building or district and that's going to kind of lend it as to what you're going to utilize we utilize Schoology in our building quite a bit and we're trying to grow and develop this we really feel like an LMS system allows us to share resources like I'm showing you here very quickly and easily and once everybody has a general understanding of how the LMS system works we can get resources to kids very quickly very easily and when students get more fluent with that the, aut the autonomy of the student um, greatly increases so you can see here I have a screenshot uh, from the course that you're actually looking at uh, probably in right now and in this course you can see that the students would be able to access all this information but why I'm showing you this is up here in resources in our uh, in our LMS system which is Schoology we are able to actually copy this entire course that means everything every every quiz every everything that we were, were we would want a student to to look at we're able to copy all of that by simply clicking on this cog right here and then selecting that to add to resources and there's two different places you can add your resources to you can add it to the public uh, or excuse me to your personal that arrow should be there personal and it should be group so you can add it to those different areas and according to where those are is where you can share them. So for example, I have a third grade group, a second grade group, a fourth grade group, a second grade group, first grade group, and anybody who's in my group, if I were to click this cog and say share to second grade group, that means all my second grade teachers would have access to all of this content with one simple click. Now that's extremely powerful because then if I create something, that sec another second grade teacher can go in and modify it to best match her students very very quickly we don't have to worry about creating any links or anything like that all of it's set up and ready to go the other great thing is when it's stored in here and the kids are accessing it here and we embed all the information inside of this LMS system the students are limited in terms of what they're going to go out and explore so safety wise it's great for students and also for learning wise because we know once they start clicking out a couple places they start to opening up a few more tabs and the next thing you know they're kind of sidetracked and they're not doing what they need to be doing in terms of the learning. So with just a few clicks, you're able to share all of your content very, very quickly, very, very easily, and then it's all archived and ready to go. So that's one awesome thing about um, using a digital approach to this is you're able to share this the, the information very quickly. Uh, another thing is you can monitor student learning very, very easily. Now there are limitations with our LMS system. Um, so Schoology doesn't do a great job of reporting on mastery. So you do have to do some conversions because it is still a traditional model. There's not a lot of great mastery ones out there. But what Schoology lacks on the reporting side, Schoology makes up for, which is what this video is talking about. What Schoology makes up for on the resources and sharing and those kinds of things. So it really allows students to move through their content very quickly, very easily. There are other ones out there. Obviously Google Classroom is a great one, but our district has really, really looked towards uh, Schoology to, to maximize this to maximize uh, student learning. So like I said, you can monitor student learning. So you can see here, here's a couple of students. I kind of blocked off some of the information, but I can see how they're scoring on each of these different items. So you can see there's only three questions here. I can actually go in and click on view attempts. If I click right there, I can actually go in and look at the student's actual answer. So you can see here, this student answered that question correctly. And I can actually go question by question, which would be a nice item analysis. So I know which kids to pull into groups just by looking at that 
and that actually is nothing for me to, to, to grade as long as I create the quiz inside of Schoology. It's going to grade it for me and I can use that to, to group my students from very quickly, very easily. It's also another way to give to give feedback to students. I can send them um, notes, give them feedback um, on each of the things that they actually uh, test or grade, and students can even comment back to me. So this student is telling me that they've uh, created their video and they're ready to post their assessment. Um, so you can see there's different ways to communicate. So it opens up communication ways. It also allows us to manage and manage and watch their learning, make sure that they're progressing the way they need to be progressing. It also allows us an opportunity to um, form groups from the information that it's kicking out to us as well. And it's doing this all in one area. So you can do lots of this stuff um, by the different um, digital tools that are out there. However, I like to caution people on that, especially if you're working in an elementary building. You don't want to get a whole lot of digital tools going. You can get kid, you can get kids. It could get pretty crazy pretty quickly. Google Sign In does um, help a lot uh, in that capacity, but you also don't want to have to go and look eight different places just to find the different scores that you need to make instructional decisions. So picking one LMS system is very, very helpful, I believe. All right, and our last stop here on this journey is students will be participating in the four C's every day. What do I mean by that? So for the four C's are what we've talked about in other videos, things like collaboration, creative thinking, um, uh, communication, uh, as well as critical thinking. So those different skills that they need to be successful in the workforce, they're going to be doing this every single day. So in the mastery cycle, you can see on a computer, the students are going to be generating these four C's in this area here. Here are some students that have created some videos to demonstrate their learning. Other students are able to see other students' videos and comment on those and like those, very similar to what you'd see on a Facebook page. And this is all monitored. Um, a teacher will uh, get responses, so she'll see what people have, uh, have said or commented. So none of that goes unchecked. So. Uh, these are definitely skills that are extremely important for kids. So hope you hope you understand that LMS systems provide lots of opportunities for you and even more than what I'm going to be able to, to share in this video.